Thank you, Belton, for that report now. The funeral of a father and son who died in a horrific road accident in Borni on November 16, 2023, took place today in Machakos. The two are among the victims of the increasing road fatalities in Kenya, which the Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission blames on the rampant graft within the police service. According to the EACC, senior police officers are using their juniors to extort money from motorists at various checkpoints, thus compromising road safety standards. Our very own Ode Francis revisited the scene, talked to the witnesses, visited families to try to establish what could have happened. Here is that story that I leave with you and I want to thank you for watching and everybody who made this a success. Asante sana, my name is Dennis Aseto. Our sign language interpreter is Meresha Owiti. Good night. As the sun sets over the hills of Mboni Makueni County, a somber mood engulfed the valley where a horrific accident claimed 13 lives and left seven others wounded. The victims who were traveling in a 14-seater matatu met their fate on Saturday, December 16th of 2023 when the driver of the vehicle lost control and rolled several times into a ditch along the Kikima Kali Machakos Road. <laughs> we revisited the scene and the meandering road clearly sends a dangerous signal. So watu tambo tupike hapa walikuwa wametupa tupwa. Mtu wa mwenye alitupwa mbali sana kwa ile mtu. Sasa kutoka hapa kila kitu inakuonyesha mpaka mahali ilienda. Among the dead was the family of Joshua Nzomosila who was described by his family as a jovial and hardworking man. He left behind a wife and a son who could also have died if his father had not shielded him. His brother Travis Muo perished in the tragic accident. The driver was over speeding, so the car rolled several times. People were telling the driver to stop over speeding. They were saying like this, Dere acha kuendesha gari nambio. Then the car hit a rock, then it started to roll several times in, down a valley. Somehow like a valley, in a hill. My brother was sitting at the back seat next to the window. When the Marco started rolling, he held me and that's why he never got armed very hard. He called immediately and told me, Arusi tunayo hatuna. Mwambi Arusi tunayo. Pilao toala. So that is the last statement he told me at lunchtime there. We travel 20 kilometers away and find another family preparing for their father's burial. He has left four children and a housewife who are now struggling to cope with the loss of their breadwinner. His wife who spoke to us says she had spoken to him just before he left for his last trip.
sikuongea naye tena the injured who suffered various degrees of injuries were rushed to Mboni sub county hospital for treatment the driver is one of them who was in a critical condition and had to be transferred to Makueni hospital facility for specialized care the driver lost both legs in the accident at the scene we find his colleague and asked him what really happened eh hizo zilikuwa breaks hizo zilisha so mwenzenu apo wapi sana nimesikia kwa wote eh bado anaendelea na matibabu one of the supervisors who wished to remain anonymous said she had boarded the matatu at kikima town hoping to reach his destination before dark hiyo gari ilikuwa na namata kitoka kikima basi mimi nilikuwa nashukia njiani kosa tukiwa almost kufika hiyo kosa kunaitwa kali kasikia dede ya mshoto akasema kumeharibika njoo nilikuwa nimekaa mbele nikamuuliza nini nini mimi niambia hii gari najaribu kumkuza break haingi she says she prayed to god to save her as she saw the matatu veer off the road and plunged into the valley so ni lena do the sounds kidogo ikaanguka pale ilianguka kuna haiti yangu toka hapo pale ilikuwa imekanyaga pale ilianguka ni mrefu mtu lianguka niliacha tu ikianguka kutoka hapo ninguja kushtuki tumefinywa na gari kama mimi nimefinywa nimefinyiliwa mguu na gari hizi toka imetobolewa na nifanye kuna maana itoke juu hiyo kichuma iko imedunga ndani now as the wreckage of the matatu that ended close to 11 passengers that were aboard this matatu questions continue to linger whether there was due diligence from the NTSA or the Marco Sacco if this vehicle was really inspected the lives of a married couple who were laid to rest at Kaiti in Makungo on Friday Moses Musyuki Mutua and Lois Mbaki were among the passengers of a Marco Sacco Matatu which lost control and veered off the road in Kikima plunging into the river Mutua who was a driver for the same Sacco had taken a day off and decided to join his wife on the ill-fated vehicle that day 16th was on a leave of the and uh, with the wife they went to greet their parents that is their wife's uh, parents at Bon area and then on their way back from Boni is when the accident occurred the couple left behind three children and a grieving community the families of victims expressed their anger and frustrations at the authorities for failing to ensure road safety and enforcement of traffic rules they are now demanding for justice and compensation for their loved ones MP wetu kwa sikizalio tupa alituambia atampea huyu wako ameenda form 4 scholarship ya kumsomesha sasa ningeomba kama angetusaidia mimi na ndugu yangu mdogo mwenye ata join college kama anaweza tusaidia kwa kutulipia fees tuweze kusaidia mami in the future sasa sijui atakuwa anatengemea nani kwa sababu alikuwa anatengemea babangu wale walidhuri wa bati we msaada support the accident has once again raised questions about the state of the roads and the conduct of the drivers according to police they have launched investigations but according to ESCC the police are to blame the commanders wa police ambao kwa maoni yetu wanatakiwa kulaumiwa pakubwa kwa sababu wakati tunashika wale askari kwa barabara wakiokota pesa kwa zile toll stations also known as roadblocks wanatuambia kwamba wao wanatumwa na commanders within the police hierarchy kwa hivyo njia moja ya kumaliza changamoto hiyo ni mikakati iwekwe ndio wale commanders wawe held accountable for corruption and other actions of that nature within their respective commands
The accident has shaken the community and left a scar in the hearts of many. The residents of not only Mbuoni but countrywide have lost their friends, neighbors and relatives in tragic accidents and senseless way. So there, there must be some, somebody to, to blame, especially the law enforcers, the people on the roads. And uh, if I'm safe to mention the police, I think then they are to blame. Because these people are confident that uh, at our police waki wakwa injia hakuna shida. They have been robbed of their joy and hope during this festive season. I would stand to blame the police because they, they did not even take quick action because I witnessed the, 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 the law cause uh, varying the backs of those who were in the motor too. And I think they could have arrived and uh, protect the, the passengers. They have been left to mourn and bury their dead, hoping that such calamity will never happen again. There is a vehicle which is overloaded. You allow it to you allow it to pass. Then people die. You have received some money. Honestly, even how 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 do you treat that kind of money? The money you received in that road broke. Our past sentiment that the National Police Service has no room for corrupt officers. The Maraga-led task force of police reforms recommended to end traffic corruption in Kenya by replacing roadblocks with mobile patrols, restructuring the traffic police unit into a traffic management unit to detect and find traffic violations. Uh, His Lordship uh, Justice uh, Maranga, uh, Judge uh, Mukum Staafu, alipeana report kwa rais ya ile National Task Force on Police Reforms na imepeana mikakati mwafaka ya kumaliza njanga ili la ufisari kwa barabara kwa sababu linaendelea kusababisha kupotea kwa maisha tungependa uh, ripoti hiyo iweze kukuwa prioritized aswa katika upande huo wa kuondoa ufisadi barabarani we are going to work further with private sector to make sure that our vehicles all the vehicles that we have are going to be inspected and the inspection is going to be digitized to make sure that we can track who inspected the vehicle and the state of those vehicles the task force found that corruption was endemic in the police service, especially in the traffic unit, and that police officers engaged in conflict of interest businesses that compromised their professionalism. As the tourists today, the Kikima Road users and the residents now want more road barriers erected. Did you fly up? Now, this is the location where a Nissan rolled and fl flew from the other side up to where I'm standing, bringing to a stop or halt lives of 12. Now, if different agencies could have taken stringent measures to make sure that the road users and the drivers and the vehicles that are carrying our passengers were taken care of, such accident or this accident could have been avoided. Now, this tragic accident will remain into the families and friends of those who perished from this accident forever. Ode Francis, Ketia News, Mboni, Makweni County.